Let's make history. On this day in history, September 23rd, this is the day of Grito de Lares, which is the primary Puerto Rican revolt against Spanish rule, which took place today back in 1868. Lares is a town in Puerto Rico, and this revolt was started by Dr. Ramon Betances, who is considered the father of the Puerto Rican independence movement. Everybody talks about Don Pedro Avisu Campos, and rightfully so, because he has to be hands down on the top 10 list of revolutionaries globally. But that's another story. Check out my video on Don Pedro Avisu Campos. I'll leave a link in the description, but the father of the movement before Don Pedro is actually Dr. Ramon Betances. He was a surgeon, and on a side note, he was also a Freemason. He came from money, because you gotta remember, the first library came to Puerto Rico in the early 1600s, and even after that, only the clergy or the wealthy could read and study, knew how to read, and could go and do research and study and learn and go to school. And so Dr. Betan says he studied abroad and then what he did was two things. First, he started the abolitionist movement in Puerto Rico, freeing black slaves in Puerto Rico. And then he started the Committee of Revolutionaries of Puerto Rico, which was basically a, a secret unit to for Puerto Rico to gain independence. Because you had, you gotta remember, you had Domino Sugar, which was taking full advantage of the people. And it wasn't technically slavery, but when you think about the wages that were being paid, it was pretty much slavery. And so Dr. Betan says, along with Segundo Ruiz Belvis, they started the committee for revolutionaries of puerto rico and they got a thousand men together and they took over the municipal courthouse on this day september 23rd and that's what grito de la is it only lasted a day because the next day they took control once again of uh the county government the municipal government but this is a landmark for Puerto Ricans because even though this may not have been successful beyond a day, it set the standard for what was expected. It set the standard for how far we could go and how successful we could be in our fight for independence on the island of Puerto Rico. A flag was even created to be the first official flag of Puerto Rico once it gained independence from Spain and that is the Grito de Lares flag. Many Puerto Ricans don't know about this. Some do. And Dr. Betan says, by the way, he lived till 1898 when Puerto Rico actually uh, became a property of the United States. And unfortunately, Segundo Ruiz Belvis, he died a year before Grito de Lares, so he wasn't even there to see it. Um, but much honor to him. Salute. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to Will Flores TV on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and X.